Alisa. <laughs> Alisa? I'm so excited you're here. Do you want to say hi to all the boys and girls at home? Hello, everybody. Ah, uh, now I hear that you have a story for me. Yes. And did you bring me some candy to listen to the story? Uh, no. Ah, uh, Alisa. Well, that's okay. What's the story about and why are we in all these rocks? Oh, because we are going to tell you a story about Daniel and the lion's den. <gasps> that sounds scary! A lion's den? Well, go ahead. Tell me the story. <laughs> well, Daniel was a very wise man. He was wise? How come he was wise? Because God gave him the wisest mind. Oh, well, why did God do that? Because he, pray, he prays three times a day. Ah, so Daniel prays three times a day and God made him very smart? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, then what happened? And then these very mean guys were jealous. They were jealous? Oh dear, what did they do? They told the king to make a new rule about only the people could pray about the king. Only the people could pray to the king? Yes. Did Daniel obey that rule? No, Daniel wanted to pray to God because that was a better choice. Oh, that is a better choice. So did Daniel get in trouble then? Well, not by the king. The um, bad people wanted to throw him in the lion's den. Oh no, this sounds scary, Elisa. Did he get thrown in the lion's den? Yes, but God sent an angel to close the mouths of the lions. What? Oh, that's so good. So they didn't bite Daniel then? No, Daniel was safe. Because you know what, Elisa? I am scared of even cats. So if I was in a lion's den, I would be terrified. Are you scared of cats? No, but if they're lions, yes. Oh, okay. So he's in the lion's den and God sends an angel and the lion's mouths are shut. Yes. Okay. So, Elisa, do you think that while Daniel was in the lion's den that he still prayed? Um, I think so. And then what happened? Then he was safe and he could go back home. Oh, did the king decide to let him out? Yes. Wow. Because the king couldn't sleep because he was too worried. Oh, he was so worried about Daniel. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a great story. It teaches us to pray. And I see you have some crafts here, Elisa. What are they? Yes. So these are the lion's face. Oh, do you think you should show the kids at home so they can see them? Yeah. Okay. So this one is just for the little kids and this one is for the younger kids. The bigger kids over here, right? Okay, so can you show me, like, could you lift it up for the little kids at home to see? Ah. So you cut the hands out, your own hands, and you glue, so you cut, um, you have a, brown, a light brown piece of paper for the lion's head and you draw the lion's eyes, nose, and mouth, and you could write um, some things around it, and you cut your own hands out of this, like for paper, and then you glue your hands on here. So the hands are like a mane of a lion. Yes. So and it can remind us to pray like Daniel did. Yes, so you could like, you could um, pray by touching the fingers. Ah, like so if I wanted to pray for Elisa, I would touch one finger and I would write Elisa on there and I would remember to pray for Elisa. And then if I wanted to pray for more candy, I would write that on the next finger and I would pray for more candy. And then if I wanted to pray for portage, I could put portage on there. Yes. Okay? 
Okay, so show me then the one for older kids over here. So... Can you lift it up for everybody to see? Yes. So this is like made out of wood wow. with the face. Did you make that? I, th I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so you glue on these clips, paper clips. Oh, clothespins, they're clothespins. Yes, and you cut little piece of papers and you put them on one of these. Oh, I think you need to hold it up so the kids at home can see. There, ah, so those papers in the clothespins are like little prayer requests everywhere. Yes, yeah, so if you want to write something to pray, you could write it on the bottom of these piece of papers. Awesome. You know what I love? I love what it says on both these lion spaces. It says, praying shuts the mouths of lions. And when we're scared or in a scary situation like Daniel, we can just remember to pray. Yes. That's awesome. Elisa, what are you scared of? What do you need to pray about? Well, I'm mostly scared of lions and hyenas and cheetahs. But I like cheetahs. What? Wow, those are those are big things. Lions, hyenas, and cheetahs. I'm I'm scared of cats. So if I was in a room with a cat, I would be praying. But sometimes some people get scared if they go to school or and have to make new friends. Were you scared when you moved here? Yes. So did you pray about that? Yes. See, we can always turn to God and pray when we are scared. Okay, I think we're good. We would love to see if you guys made either of these lion's heads. And we would love to see, hear about your prayer requests. Have a good day. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, children.